In this lab, we're going to test the work kinetic energy theorem using a bow and arrow. When I pull back on the bow, I do work on the bow, so some of my energy goes into the bow. Upon release, this bow can do work then on the arrow, giving the arrow kinetic energy. What we're going to do in this lab is determine how much work the bow does on the arrow. To do that, we're going to collect force using a spring scale versus position data using a ruler that's mounted to this board here. And we'll simply pull back on the bow and measure the force at about 10 different positions. Then what we're going to do is graph the force that the bow exerts on the arrow as a function of position using logger pro, and then find the area under that curve. And the area under that curve is equal to the work that the bow does on the arrow. Using the work kinetic energy theorem, we can then set that area equal to the change in kinetic energy, knowing the mass of the arrow, which we're going to get using an electronic balance, we can find the speed at which the arrow travels when it leaves the bow. Then using two-dimensional kinematics, we should be able to predict where the arrow will land on the ground if launched horizontally.